Well, here's how I mounted the motors on the photon and the synapsis. Um, I bolted the motor onto a piece of plywood that was cut roughly the same um, size as the tube. Motors bolted on, some long bolts, and secured. And then uh, this piece of this foam stuff, which is, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's uh, polypropylene or what, but it's very spongy and tough. Normally comes in the in the electronics when they're packed. I hold it in the box. Um, so what I do is I bolt the motor on, run the bolts through the material, use about a two inch piece and run the bolts through another piece of plywood and secure that. Now this whole assembly gets not only the bolts run through it but they're hot glued together so the motor mount is hot glued to this and uh, let's use a small piece and uh, you make up a piece of this the same size is the inside diameter about two inches long run the bolts through it throw another piece of plywood hot glue that in and a couple of nuts on the other side and uh, this whole assembly this is just for mock-up this whole assembly gets hot glued inside your fuselage tube um, you get a really good bite with this foam. This stuff is really strong. Hot glue is very well. You can hot glue it multiple layers together, whatever size configuration you need. <coughs> and that whole assembly gets hot glued inside the tube. Um, like I said, that's how the synapsis is. This uh, whole motor mount runs up to about that far it's very strong you get a lot of uh, adhesion of the hot glue to the frame that really holds it nice and stiff but it doesn't add a lot of weight and the same with the uh, photon probably about, probably about that far back it's just hot glued in I just should threw some tape around the front to make it look good Um, whatever this stuff is, it's very spongy, but stiff, bends, you know, it's not a styrofoam, it's, I don't know what it is. And that's how I did the motor mount on there, because I could not find any, uh, any metal that I could bend that wasn't really ridiculously heavy and it's way too thin.